Hello everybody, we are in this uh, booth called Vivi Touch. Uh, they make haptic sensors and right now they have this they have this Xbox controller which has been modified. They have their haptic control over here. So as you move along the road on this game, you can actually feel the feedback on this motion. So I'm feeling the feedback on the, these these portions. Even when I shoot, the whole thing starts vibrating. And uh, because these touch sensors are very thin, made of made out of polymer, you can you know actually uh, the polymer is just one mm thin, and uh, the sensor is attached to the polymer circuitry. And because it's a polymer, it can also flex. So you know it makes for easy implementation in various devices so this is just the my uh, controller but they have other devices on display behind us where you can actually you know have a, 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 a sort of an accessory attached to your iphone where wherein when you play more games on iphone which require haptic feedback you can actually get a good vibration sort of an effect so that's about it let me get back to the game thank you This is artificial muscle incorporate AMI. So what they make is they make an actuator. This is called an electroactive polymer. Okay, and in this, what they apply in voltage, the film tends to move. It is a basic principle of uh, Maxwell theory. So you need a very thin film, maybe like a one mil dielectric elastomer. So when you apply in voltage, the film tends to compress. Since the film is incompressible it tends to move x and y direction okay this is what it calls gives a motion okay okay from here if you look at it the black color is the compliant electrode okay the transparent area is the dielectric elastomer those brown color the bars where you put your mass okay so the one which we refer to the battery it just sits on the top of it so when okay. applied voltage it just moves that's how we get this uh, feel and is this like a patent of yours yeah so otherwise how will be our <laughs> this no way right so the good thing is that the buyer, that's why it's acquired this company because of the patent rights, because they have all the patents related to EAP. So whether it's going to be, whether it's uh, tablets or mobile phone, any application, they have patented. So from here, so what we have done is, we have used different devices. devices. I think you have felt the, this one, you can try it out as well. You have to hold it, you have to hold it and try it out. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, feel, yeah. <laughs> right, you can feel that, right? I can hear, feel like stones are like moving inside the phone. It's intensity. So yeah. each, so each if you flip on intense. this, you won't feel that in the high intensity. Yeah, flip oh, right. it, it'll be very this thing, you know. Very good. So that's I think this is this is high uh, low frequency. High. Right? Yes, means basically this is the strongest one. Yeah, the strongest. One. This is. High so think about this, right? Consumer wants to play a game. And if you don't have this kind of high definition feel, usually it doesn't make any sense, right? So I think the so trying to bring intensity this. of immersion is, you know, goes to a whole new level. Exactly. Right? That's why this 4D sound needs to be on the This is another one. Nice, uh, this, thing. this is commercialized. Yeah. Okay, this is called a Morphe Pulse. So, this, so what you see is an peripheral. This is an accessory for iPod. So if you have any game, it purely takes an audio signal to process it. That's why like the haptics is not perfect, but if you're able to work with a partner, we can make this even better. Okay. Um, other application, what we're talking about is... You can actually uh, feel the dice is rolling around. around. Yeah. Oh. So this yeah. is exactly the same gamepad, another version of it. So this is also a gamepad which where you can retrofit the same technology. We have a keypad which also works on um, audio signal. But if you touch it, you can feel it. So there's a haptic response. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's a bit soft, yeah, because still again it's taking audio. But if you want to really get the button click, you should touch this one. So, try it so out. You don't even need this embossing, right? You can just make it yeah, absolutely yeah. flat and you can still get this from the market. So, and everybody is asking for a very thin very keypad. Thin. Right? And I think the only advantage we have is because it's very thin film, you should be able to use it. How thin is this film? Well, uh, it's one mil. Film is one mil, but we have the structure around it, it can go up to uh, one mm. Or slightly more than that.
the USP of this particular technology is that you know it's able to produce, it's able to use in low frequency as well as 30 hertz to any useful range. So we, as a result, we are able to use in the headphones that gives you subwoofer base. You have tried, right? This one, yeah. so you should try this one as well. Let me just take a. So what exactly have you done to this headphone? Basically, what you do is you just attach those uh, actuators in form of a module on each side of it, and it enhances low frequency. Okay.